Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Uh, now, I'm not going to minimize the threat of terrorism. Uh, it's a serious threat, has to be dealt with. We have to be alert and aware and vigilant and take the steps necessary to deter it and destroy it. But, I've been thinking, who did more damage to the United States? Al-Qaeda or Wall Street? And the answer is Wall Street. As horrible and tragic and devastating as the 9-11 attack was, the long-term damage to the country was more a result of bad decisions by the Bush administration than anything Al-Qaeda did. But while we were all, all focused on Al-Qaeda, there was another threat. One that succeeded where Osama bin Laden failed. It was Wall Street that brought the U.S. and the world to its knees. Now, I'm not saying that we should have carpet-bombed Wall Street although I really wouldn't be against it. But the zeal with which we went after Al-Qaeda should have also been present in dealing with the real axis of evil, Goldman Sachs, AIG, and the various stock exchanges. Not only did they not go to prison, they got bonuses. Even more scary is the fact that these people are still in positions of power. And they have the same ability to do us harm. And they have not changed their ways. They are still doing the same kinds of things. Immediately after they got bailed out, the banks began foreclosing on properties that they had no right to foreclose on, and they're still doing it. There were government rules set up that banks had to give people who were in arrears a chance to work out alternate payment plans. And they didn't do that. They circumvented that. They faked paperwork so that they wouldn't have to do it, to make it impossible for homeowners to work things out with them. And as they were doing these things, they continue to, they did, they, oh, I forgot to mention, they also did things like manipulating interest rates and making incredibly risky deals knowing that if things got screwed up, they'd get bailed out. Nobody was prosecuted. Nobody went to jail. Nothing happened. Even though there are many times over the threat that Al-Qaeda or ISIS or any other terrorist groups is. We try to protect ourselves from terrorism. We try to protect ourselves from disease. But we need to be as frightened of Wall Street as we are of the current terror threat. And we need to take the steps necessary to be equally sure that they can't strike us again. Thanks for listening.